Good morning, this is Chris Shoemaker, also known as Yehuda Ben Shomer, and you're listening to Coffee with Chris, the time of the day where we share a cup of coffee and share a bit of the Word of God. This is our sixth and seventh Sidra, our Friday-Saturday portion of our Torah portion this week called Ikev, which means because. And today's Torah portion takes place in Deuteronomy chapter 11, verses 10 through 25, but uh, let's start with verse 13. Let me ask you before I start reading. What's better than a rain dance? Well, we're going to find out. So it says in verse 13 of chapter 11 of Deuteronomy, So, if you listen carefully to my mitzvot, that is my commandments, which I am giving you today, to love Adonai your God and to serve him with all your heart and all your being, then says Adonai, I will give you your land, uh, I will give your land its rain in its right season including the early fall rains and the late spring rains, so that you can gather in your wheat, new wine, and olive oil. I will give you your fields grass for your livestock, with the result that you will eat and be satisfied. But be careful not to let yourselves be seduced so that you turn aside serving other gods and worshiping them. If you do, The anger of Adonai will blaze up against you. He will shut up the sky so that there will be no rain. The ground will not yield its produce, and you will quickly pass away from the good land which Adonai is giving you. Therefore, you are to store up these words of mine in your heart and in your being. Tie them on your hand as a sign. Put them at the front of your uh, your headband around your foreheads. Teach them carefully to your children, talking about them when you sit at home, when you travel on the road, when you lie down, when you get up, and write them on the door frames of your house and upon your gates, so that your children will live long in the land that Adonai swore to your ancestors that he would give them for as long as the sky is above the earth. For if you will take care to obey all these mitzvot, all these commandments I'm giving you to do them, to love Adonai your God, to follow all his ways, and to cling to him. Then Adonai will expel all these nations ahead of you, uh, dispossessing nations bigger and stronger than you are. So what's better than a rain dance? Obedience. Obedience is better than a rain dance. The Lord said, if you obey my commandments and you keep my, my, my word with your whole heart, with your whole being, you're not going to have to worry about drought. You're not going to have to worry about famine. You're not going to have to worry about doing without. I'm going to supply and provide your needs. Obedience, as we have learned this week, leads to blessing. And there's a danger in that blessing by getting too comfortable and taking these blessings for granted and somehow deceiving yourselves, thinking that you did these things. You gave yourselves these blessings. you know, Or you get so comfortable and, 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 and you start becoming chummy with with other gods you 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 know i mean it may not be for us worshiping another god but putting other things before god our jobs you know our finances our hobbies whatever uh giving them first place instead of god these things will cause drought disobedience unfaithfulness to god idolatry these things will cause famine will cause drought will cause god to withhold his blessings upon us but if we're obedient and we're humble, and we're faithful, that is better than a rain dance. Talks about God providing grass in the field for the cattle, and and, and our cattle and herds will increase, and and that there'll be rain. There'll be rain, not only rain, but rain at the right time, so that you'll be harvesting, and you won't be harvesting during a snowstorm. You won't be trying to harvest during a monsoon, but these rains will come at the right times, so that things will grow in its proper time, proper season, and in an abundant proportion. So, what's better than a rain dance? obedience. Remember that as you go out through your day and through the rest of this week. Guys, thanks so much for listening. Go out there and have a great day. Shalom and God bless.